Okay, today I'm showing you how to open Roblox on multiple instances. Say, for example, you want to grant in GPO, you want to do some tracking farming, and you need two accounts for that, then you can do that with this method. And you can do this in any game. Uh, I would recommend checking the game's Discord server or just the game's page first to see if anything like this is banned. This cannot get you banned from Roblox itself. However, it could uh, potentially get you banned from the game if it is not allowed in the game. I know for games like GPO, Block Shoot, stuff like that, it is allowed. However, there might be one game that you're playing that you want to do this with where it is not allowed. So, the two pieces of software I am talking about today is this and this. This one is the one I would not recommend you go for. But I'm still going to show you how to do it anyway. And this one is the one I would recommend you go for. Because this has all your accounts here that you just need to easily link to. And this also uses uh, the multiple Roblox engine. So this uses this, uh, just it's in a different software and it is a lot better. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So in the description, I will have these two links down below. This one is for this uh, multiple game instance here. Uh, it's a very simple just piece of software, you know, it tells you the instructions there. The download is very, very simple. Uh, so I'm not going to be talking you through too much on how to use this. The instructions are uh, literally directly in front of you once you download it. However, the one I would recommend you do is this one. Now, the only reason you might not want to go for this one is because you're a bit skeptical. Because as you can see here, you do have to add your account, which means you do have to log in. However, I've Googled it. I've tried it myself. You know, my kit, my accounts haven't been stolen or anything like that. So it is trustworthy. So to download this one, uh, you're going to want to go down to here, down to the releases section. And then down here, you will find the zip folder. And then you can just go ahead and download that. I'm not going to bother downloading it because I've already got it downloaded. However, once you do have it downloaded, you know, it's just the normal extracting. If you don't have a WinVar, you should probably get WinVar. Uh, but, you know, just the normal extraction of it. See, I'm not going to bother talking about this one, but I will be talking about this Roblox account manager. Once you've downloaded this and you have this window open, you should just press the .exe file. You then want to come over to settings and check this box, multi Roblox. That will allow you to open multiple accounts. You will just be opening one account, then you would open the other and it will close the other. So you need this enabled. Now there is a chance that it might not work because the other one that I was using before doesn't work because ever since I think it's called Bifron, the new Roblox anti-cheat, ever since that's been enabled, uh, stuff like this has been working like, I believe shaders now don't work um, and stuff like that, like the unblock FPS uh, launcher doesn't work. However, with this one, you can also uh, unlock your FPS. There you go, unlock your FPS. You can have max FPS right there. I'm going to stick to 120, but you can max the FPS and unlock the FPS using this as well. So yeah, they're the only two things you need to change if you want unlocked FPS and the multiple blocks is definitely, definitely a must. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log into an account. You can see I've got three accounts here, but if you just press add account, you'll see it open up Chrome right here. And all you have to do is either sign up or log in. There you go, I just added another account right there. Took a while, but we did it. And then what you're going to want to do is once you've got any account you want in here, whether that's one account, two accounts, three accounts, whatever, is come over to Roblox itself. Uh, why not? I'm just going to use Anime Adventures just for this video. You can do this in any game, GPO, Block Shoots, uh, Meep City, Pet Simulator X, all that stuff. You're going to want to come over here to the link, the URL, and you're going to want to grab this number right here. Copy that by Control C, and you come over here, place ID, view, place it with that, and you see One Year Anime Adventures. There you go, I probably just cut that out in the video, because I wasn't too sure how this actually worked, I haven't actually used it before. However, if you go to your private server, if you've got a private server in the game, for games like GPO, where the private server is a game pass where you like it's built into the game, then, you know, just load into the normal game, fine, because it's just the menu. However, if you have a private server link, just copy this link right here, come up here to job id and just paste it in there and then you know make sure you, whatever account you want to join on it's selected in blue and then press join server so as you can see this account is in but if we go back over here and say we want to join on my alt account here we press join server once again and it will load us in this exact same private server but also you know be able to play on the exact same pc on two accounts so as you can see, we are both in the exact same game right here. Uh, let me try to find my main account real quick. It is right over there. 
There you go, we are both in the game together. And I can just easily go to this tab back. And I'm over here now, controlling this account. So you can see, it works very, very simple like that. It's using this one little piece of software. And it's very easy, just put the place ID of whatever place you want to join. If you've got a private server, put it in this job ID. And then press join server, simple as that. If I wanted to, I could join another account, and then another account. You can do this as many times as you want. The more accounts you have on, the more demanding it will be of your PC. Now, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but this is not available to mobile. This is PC only, which makes sense. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, click that bell so you never miss a video. Uh, join the Discord down below in the description. You know, we're on the 10,000 subscribers as well, so that is awesome. Anyway, see you later. Bye.